This is going to be a quick video walkthrough on how to use your iTunes library as your music library and Kodi. Now there are more elegant solutions such as just doing your AirPlay if you're using an iDevice, which you probably are if you're using iTunes. Let's be real. I actually host mine from an external drive, so this actually works with network attack storage, etc. But this will work from your local drive. You just have to know the path on your Mac or PC, which will differ from my path here. So, just to show you the file structure for my particular install, again, I'm on my network attached storage, which is found here. Mine's under music. So, this is your iTunes folder. So, all I did was uh, export my iTunes folder to my network attached storage, and I host it from multiple machines, which is why I do this. It does sacrifice speed, and it becomes a little bit excruciating. But within your iTunes folder, iTunes Media, Music, this is going to be the folder we point to, but we're going to do that within. Cody. So this is the default Cody theme confluence. You need to go to files, add music, browse, and mine is SMB device. Yours is probably going to be your C drive, uh, whether Windows or OS 10. Again, mine is a network storage, so oop, media. And again, I'm just showing you that path. iTunes media music you don't want to dive into any of these folders okay we're gonna go ahead and name this because it's not just music this is I tunes music go ahead and click OK I anticipate this taking a minute it's been a while since I've done this alright so we have our iTunes music there so now when we go into music iTunes music we have our tunes and yes in sync leads the way but lots of tunes uh, these will all play go ahead and play one I don't think you'll be able to hear it Get groovy, man. So yeah, this is pulling from a live library. So if I open iTunes on this machine, or if I open iTunes on a different machine, it's all pulling from the same library. That's how you do it. Uh, there, you'll notice there's no artwork. So what you can do is go into your programs and get yourself an artwork downloader. And this is going to save it all to your user data folder and increase the size of your install. But when you listen to your local files, you'll get music icon similar to the way you do when you do Pandora. But that's how you take care of that. Holler.